Take a ride with us to our second semifinal matchup. The Owls have it in game number two here at Dickey's Arena. Temple, the 11 seed, Florida Atlantic, the two seed. Just kept saying communicate. You've got to be elite communicators defensively. And they were down the stretch, and it's why they're playing in the semifinals. Same starting five every game of the tournament, and Jordan Riley is part of it. And Golden cleans up his miss, and then throws it right to the waiting settle. Settle feeds Piccarelli, open for three. Matteo Piccarelli scoreless the last two nights with a triple off the settle steal. Martin gets settled in the air, feeds Weatherspoon, steps inside Miller. Weatherspoon, Gaffney all alone. That's an answer. Jalen Gaffney with an FAU triple. Also has the transplants from the Northeast in particular. I ran into more Penn State fans down at FAU than anywhere else. And it's a community that's built around the FAU program. Challenge, man, but I grew up playing Sunny Hill League in Philadelphia. Steel, boy, good hands. Weather, spoon, well, finish. Either of those last two were in the dunk contest. A couple of players, including Davis, have certainly seen their world grow this year, even though it's basically the same team. There's Gaffney, uncontested in the hoop, making 12 in a row for FAU. Up credit for it. Zoni turns it over. Rosano turns it right back. Monte Berry trying to push the pace for Temple inside Julia White. Nice smart move not to just immediately throw the lob. Okay, what is it? Manuel Acomo's in the game immediately drawing the defensive assignment against Vlad Golden, who has another three point play opportunity. Heaves up some bad ones, gets bad turnovers. At six yesterday. Riley three pointer. And are you developing the rhythm that allows you to shoot a high percentage? Zoni inside of Golden. She Zoni's first field goal off the bench. Zoni on the drive, on the step. Oh, that is denied by Lorian. John L. Davis is going to score his first points. Brennan Lorian turbocharging the break with a dunk. And rightfully so, what he's having to give. Riley penetrating. That's a nice finish by Jordan. Chance for one more. A lot of Sam Hoffman in the first half for Temple. Neither he nor Steve Settle, who've been big the last couple of games, have scored. Miller lined up that three for an eternity. These guys have the strength to be able to shoot that thing with good touch. Weatherspoon will pull up. And Weatherspoon drains the three at the other end. One for eight in the first half. And they get their first here in the second. Miller, another one. Love it. And another one goes. Seems. But there are times where opponents make shots and then it actually plays this. It does it. It plays into the hands of the movement, that rhythm, the floater, the off of a main basket. You get back and get established. Hoffman three. It's three in a row for Temple to start this second half. You have the space around you. And you've got to have shooters around you to have the space you need. He had the space around him. Miller looking down the floor to Piccarelli. Piccarelli will pick his spot, and he's fouled. After hitting a three, he got hit in the eye by Vlad Golden. Steve Settle, step back over Golden. Oh, yes, sir! Settle ties the game. A couple of minutes into the first half, it's six to two. Riley, but Riley finishes strong, and the Temple Owls are back in front. And yesterday. Miller's got Hoffman behind him. Behind the back, and Hoffman Big. deserved to get that roll. Another one. Six minutes without a basket for Florida Atlantic. Dizzoni will score it. Under eight to go. It's Temple by six. The winner of the championship against the four seed UAB. Sear Miller's had a magnificent second half, and that is a magnificent move around Vlad Golden. They switched up their defense well in that. That limits John L. Davis, too. On a step back. Miller again! Ice cold as Sear Miller has been opportunities for FAU to take over this game and just haven't been able to do it. That, that's going to help. But that's not changing the game. Here's Nick Boyd. Davis driving. He's taken over the game in the second half. And he ties it! Right in for Dizzoni. Davis, a hard screen by Hoffman, frees Dizzoni for the Temple lead. Slipped around into the ball screen, Hoffman inside, Miller outside, Miller again! Oh goodness gracious, it is still Miller time! John L. Davis, basket for the win, Davis to the basket.
Hands 